All right, this episode being episode nine, titled The Queen and the Shield, makes me hope that Dorche pops off because he is the Queen Shield, right? And they're talking about assassinating Hilling. I really don't want her to die, like, at all. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Ranking of Kings, episodes 9 and 10. Like I said, the first one is called The Queen and the Shield. Last episode, we ended off with some important revelations and some important new twists for characters in the new directions they're going to be going in. We have Dida and we have Bolse in Dida's body um, telling Domas and now Hakuro, because they're a duo, to go destroy something in the underworld. We have him announcing that Boji is alive and training, in fact, and we have him just wiling out all in all so we have some and we, meanwhile we have boji who's splitting rocks getting new weapons mastering the despa arts so we have some new things we got to learn and find out i have to watch what's going on in this episode i cannot wait any longer don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to the show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are down below in the description like always make sure to check that out don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into this uh ranking of kings episodes 9 and 10 the first one is called the queen and the shield let's do this what kind of mental processes do you have to go through for your son to turn into your husband you know yep that's a good example no one but bose could ever do that so this man is with so much friction force and power he turned it into a molten ball and then evaporated it from existence and crushed it into a diamond. And that's what he did when he first met Hilling. Yeah, I'm trying to picture how they had sex. First off, that diamond is fucking massive. Bro, Balsay would have destroyed Hilling in bed. Yes, ask the right questions. Good. Where's Dida? We're just going to leave that at that. There's not going to give us any more commands. What are, What is Miranjo thinking? Miranjo, because she was talking about assassinating Hilling. You know, I have no idea. Dorshe can, uh, can detect some hostility coming. Yes. And these are the creatures that they were going to send to kill her. And these creatures are super strong. They were able to deal with Apius, you know. All right, so my man's got two spiked shields attached. It's a pretty good, you know, switch between offense and defense for when you need to. Oh, we get the flashback of how Dorshe was. He used to be Spear of the King. Okay. At least give it a shot, and then let me hear your newly founded thoughts once you've done it for a little bit. I can understand why he would think that. Being a man of strength, of stature, being the queen's bodyguard, you feel like, you know, lowered on the totem pole. Hmm, look at little Boji. Oh, poor Boji. <laughs> Don't be scared of her. <laughs> look how look how agile he is. This man is putting the burners on healing. She's like, I've been running around so much chasing him for this cake. And he grabs it. He wanted the cake. He was just scared of you. Did he bring the cake to a certain grave, certain headstone? If I had to assume, yep. I was about to say, if I had to assume anyone's headstone. I would love to learn sign language one day. I can't lie at all. It's still her face. It's just a little bit too scary for him. She's trying, though. I appreciate the effort. Aww. Dorsha is seeing Hilling's trials and tribulations and her progressing as well as a person. Hmm. 
Now that's the true shield right there. This is the right man for the task. Is that not true of everyone? That's a great answer, honestly. Hailing's made some considerable progress with Boji. He is such a big burly man to be running like that. <laughs> that is a good memory right there. And then thinking of healing. And protecting healing now. Oh yeah. Of course. Hell yeah, we're not letting her die. I want to protect her so much more now. Let's go. Dorshi's my dude. Okay. Oh yeah. Launch all three of them off at the same time. You know this man is strong. He took a he took a boss a hit. Oh. I love how they switched the camera perspective to first person shot from right there at POV. The animation in the show is so fantastic. And we know these wolf creatures are really good at teamwork too. Ooh, the full metal plating. No wonder he's so slow. This man's gotta be so strong. No wonder he could take a hit. Good throw. Fucking Captain America. Okay, my man needs to go beyond plus ultra. He said, I can't just protect her. We'll never get anywhere from there. I have to go on the offense. Let's go, Dorshi. Come on. That being said, so they, they plan on him to be forced to go on the offense. But if he can get a punch off, oh my god, look at my man's strength. He can finish this one right there. Oh my god, that was such a good punch. That's probably one down, two to go, right? Oh. That's what he told. That's what he told Dorshi. And he chose healing. Let's go, man. P Beyond plus ultra. We're not letting these fuckers stop us. Elbow him right in the eye. Fucking ring his neck. If I ever need anyone protecting me in my entire life. It's a tie between Levi and Dorshi. No question about it. Both animated by Wit, too. If he dies, I hope he's just knocked out and we can heal him. But if he does die... I will honor him with all the customs of Dapper Legacy. Why? What? Is Bose saying, hey, the animals failed, so I'm going to go do it myself? Or are they saying, hey, it's been 700 years since... Okay, I was... She is possessing the a, a literal doll in order to feel as close to a human body as she can. Yeah, there's only a certain limit to which she can do this to, you know. Yep, and then she, her, like, soul goes back, yep. <laughs> I need to know who's manipulating who. Because to a certain extent, it does feel like Bolse is manipulating her a little bit. But she's ultimately super, I, like, hmm. Oh. My boy, Dorshi is alive. Let's go. Like, I started out liking Domas <laughs> the most, and now Domas is at, like, the bottom. Bebin and Dorshi, way at the top now, you know? Hells yeah, healing. Hells yes. That's the mother I want to hear. Oh, yeah. This would drive someone insane. Oh, yeah. And nothing but darkness with only yourself? So that's the path that Domas was talking about that connects the castle to the underworld. A trivial matter, huh? It's a good line right there. As a king, no, but as a father. Ooh, and Daida can hear her in there. Daida can hear his own mom. And she can hear him in return. There's a special connection there. Ooh, she said supersonic hearing. She's like Zenitsu right now. Listen for him. Spatial awareness. She's like Tengen. She's the sound Hashira. Oh, in his heart. Literally.
Yeah, you didn't think of that, did you? You gonna kill Dida to get Dida back? Oh. She was causing a scene. See? So this is what makes me feel like this is what makes me feel like he actually is manipulating Miranjo, because he knows while Miranjo's gone gathering monsters to kill Hilling, he's telling Hilling to leave. So it makes sense, you know? I feel bad for Dida. Yeah, that's why you always gotta be worried about fucking spirits and mirrors. I'm telling you guys, if a spirit and a mirror ever tries talking to you, don't listen to it. That's a sad thought. Yeah, makes you think about him a little differently, doesn't it? God damn, man. God damn. All right, getting into episode 10. I'm way too hyped because last episode was called The Queen's Shield, and this one's called The Prince's Sword. So do we finally get to see Boji's weapon? I'm way too excited. Let's do this. That seemed like a sword he's grabbing. We're going out to eat in celebration of Boji's training being completed. Kinda, I'm trying to think, who has a dagger that's that, there's, what? Is it like a fencing weapon? I'm curious why the sheath was so big if it's like, it is, yep. Okay, Fiora, what are we playing, League of Legends? What's the, can you, it's a rapier, right? I was trying to think, what's the term? Of a weapon that you use for fencing. Is it called a rapier? That needly looking thing. Actually, it's a good, another good example. Needle from Game of Thrones. Another great rapier. Yeah, you don't think Boji could kill someone with that? Don't worry, Boji. Don't be upset with Kage's disapproval. You just need to prove it to him. This right here. Tell him, Despa. Hell no, he's not. Tried and true. I have full faith. I've I've seen rape. I keep calling it a rapier. I really don't know. I've seen fencing swords straight stab people in the throat, hit their artery right here, do this, that, and the other. You know. I personally have full faith. You see how fast this kid is? Imagine me trying to hit him and boom, one time in the neck. It's it's over. What am I gonna do? I really like the architecture of the underworld city, though. It reminds me a lot of like a Kingdom Hearts world because they're so different. You know. Kanpai! Now we get to test him out. Desp Arts, huh? The big bad bully of the bar. Middle brother lane. The youngest brother bone. Now I don't want to be an advocate for Boji causing violence or death. Worst case scenario. But if you are going to fuck with us while we are celebrating, You call him a camel face, you make fun of his appearance, that's when it's a wrap. Oh. What? You can insult my apprentice, but I won't- What? Isn't that- <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Ooh, he ate that! My brother's like, alright, time to step in. Let's beat the shit out of this guy. Bodhi's like... Oh. He ate that for Despa. Bodhi's a real one. Even the little cardboard, little paper mache crown still there. <laughs> Boji tanked that. No, there's no way. <laughs> I know. I guess this is Boji after training, guys. We get to see a new level of Boji. Ooh, good slide, jump up, good chin. If he had any more strength, that would have that was a glass chin right there. That's knocking him straight out. I swear to God. What? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I love the sound effect they use for that punch. Like it feels like it would do nothing. I knew that. I knew that if you want to knock someone out, you hit them in the jaw. It's a, like some people have glass jaws, I'm telling you. Okay, use their own momentum again against a pr uh, this, this is a weak spot. Okay. He's precise. His precision is crazy. I do know if you hit someone in the head in the very right spot, you can eat, you can discombobulate them and sit, they'll become so dizzy, you know, their whole, what's the, what's your balance called? 
So yeah, you're we're like we're elevating this from a common bar fight to like life or death. Are you willing to accept those terms? So honorable. I love this music too. And he's he's nervous too. Oh, so oh, this kid is like lightning. See, this is my thing though. Is Boji gonna be one of those good kids where he kills people? Or is he just gonna be one of those Batman type figures where he only incapacitates them? Dilating the blood vessels as a result. It Honestly, that seems kind of just wacky out of the blue, but when I think about it, Ed Shot and My Hero Academia, which is another character who can like turn himself into a point so fine that he can enter and leave somebody's body at will. He does this thing where he enters someone's body, makes them go unconscious in half a second, and then comes out just fine. Tell me why. I have a feeling there's a scientific there's some scientific truth to that. Like if you were able to dilate someone's blood vessels or an artery to the point where they weren't able to pump blood back to the brain, it probably would momentarily shut down until it that's act I, is there truth behind that? I'm curious. That's actually crazy. Yeah, on the same side of any coin. I was gonna say that's what I'm saying. Imagine Boji stabbing someone through the neck like that. I mean, he pretty much did, except in the very right spot, you know. But what are the rules for one who carries a sword? Number one, what is it? <laughs> We'll learn him one day, man. As long as Boji knows him, that's all that matters. That's the biggest thing. You need to have a good heart. It's exactly like Captain America, Steve Rogers, you know? He only was Captain America because of his heart. He was worthy. I wonder what Desa is going to be doing. Is he meeting up with the brothers? Was that all planned out, or...? With the underworld captain? Who is... Under Daisha? Why is Despa talking to him? Wow. So this truly was a test. So they're training to be <laughs> knights of the underworld. And this was... As long as Despa had good intentions, I'm completely cool with him, you know, testing him like that. You have a rock. You have a slightly bigger rock. Mitsumata. Yep. Oh, he was the third head. But Mitsumata was the one who was training with him. And the snake speed, it makes sense. You know, those motherfuckers are quick. He's giving Bebin an update. He even knows about the mirror and everything. He has the... I don't want to pause it just because I don't want to miss anything. But Domas was talking about Bevin's uh, intelligence network and how he gathers information, which every great kingdom needs a master of secrets, is what it's called in Game of Thrones. And... Um, Bebin seems to use Mitsumata as his, like, master of secrets, but I wonder how Mitsu, like, he obviously can, you know, interact and connect with the snakes and the wildlife and gather information from them, but he knows everything. He knows about Apius, he knows about the mirror, he knows about Bose, he knows about uh, Dorshe, he knows about in the underworld, Boji, he knows about everything. Oh, Mitsumata was the one who taught him how to read lips, really. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Really? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. As we cut back over to Boji. Boji. It's a good question. What do we do now? Are we strong enough to deal with the threat that's currently looming our kingdom, or do we continue our training our, in our adventure, you know? And she has no idea the, yeah, 
She you know, has no idea if Hilling was behind it because she was the one who assigned Hakuro and Domas to. Yeah, yeah. I 100% get his nervousness and questioning as to why and whether he should go back there. I definitely agree with him. Until we know who was our ally and who isn't. He is suspecting that old biddy. But she also, yeah, you gotta think about that. No hesitation, healed him, and also jumped out of the window to save him. Kage was the one who saw that. And he thinks of his mother as well. He knows. Does he know? I mean, with what he's seen, he would assume healing was not the one to do it. So, find out what happened and report back to her. She also did protect Mitsumata. Come on. Yeah, you know she didn't do it, Boji. Come on, have faith. Have a little courage in her. That's such a good POV shot. Have the courage in others. Come on. Gotta punish himself a little bit. A lot of anime characters do this. Like, you idiot. You lacked faith for a second. You lost... Okay, we're going a little too far now, Boji, but... This kid is something else, I tell you. Let's go home, Boji. Let's do it. We're going back to the kingdom. What in the flying hell is this? He's eating rats. He has like, okay, that was creepy as shit. Well, those were two fantastic episodes. I love a lot of the flashbacks we get when a certain character is about to get a little more development. Like last episode's was uh, Dorshe. I don't know if it's pronounced Dorshi or Dorshe or Dorsh, could be, I don't know. Um, but I love how he questioned whether it was his fault or whether the king lost faith in him when he was initially assigned to protect healing. But that made him develop a new mindset and devotion towards people in general and seeing how healing was towards Boji. And, and there's a whole lot of depth when it comes to that in and of itself, but that made Dorshe become like the human shield and I love that and he was like is, is healing worth protecting and he was like of course is everyone not worth protecting and he was like this is the right man for the job that's what that, that was that's such a fantastic answer to that that statement that question but so shouts out Dorshe absolutely snapping when it came to fighting those fucking beasts like I love how he went from defense level one to defense level two and then saying I can't still do anything I'm gonna fucking get rid of the defense go off it oh my god it's so good so well done i thoroughly enjoyed that I thoroughly enjoy boji getting a i sound so crazy if it's not called a rapier and you guys are just hearing me say rape that many times but you know what i'm trying to say the the fencing sword super cool how i knew his speed and precision would play a factor in terms of his weapon and it's the perfect weapon for him like it might even be questionable who is winning in a fight between boji Arya Stark and Fiora from League of Legends who all use that weapon you know they are they're all pretty damn nasty when it comes to it and then Despa with the the grand I knew it was a little bit coincidence that you know we happen to get in this bar fight happen to test this is an anime so like, okay we get to test out his power after a training it happens you know but it was all set up by Despa I like it you know Despa is an interesting character so far though a character characters just flip-flop all the time when it comes to being in like my top three top five like i never would have thought dorshe would be in there now he's in my top five i didn't think mitsumata would be in there mitsumata's you know inching his way up there i really like him as a character so intuitive so instinctive so kind caring compassionate but smart you know like i really enjoy him Overall, fantastic episodes. I loved the courage. I love everything when it came to Boji. You know, the resolve, the training, everything. The, 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 the scientific explanation as to how we can knock people out cold. Super, super, super enjoying the show. Immensely. If you guys are as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. All at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.